Hi, this is Amy, and in this week's three minute tip, I want to show you how to install Snagit and why you would want it because it's pretty awesome and you're going to want it. So, the first thing that I want you to do is go to the Apps button in your Chrome browser. If you don't see that button, then make sure to reveal your bookmarks bar. You can do that by clicking on the hot dogs in the top right and hovering over bookmarks and then choosing the check mark by show bookmarks bar. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just type in chrome colon slash slash apps into your Omnibox and you'll be taken to this page in your Chrome browser. The next thing we'll do is go into the web store and we want to type in Snagit. It's S-N-A-G-I-T and hit enter to do a search and we want both of these. We need the app and the extension. So I want you to click the button. It'll look like this for you plus free on both of those portions of that. So let's pretend now we have Snagit installed and here it is in my um, toolbar to the right of my Omnibox in Chrome. And let's pretend that what we want to do now is we want to take a picture of our web page. So maybe you've found a graph or a chart or a picture that you want to talk to your students about and you're not able to get it off the web page and you really need it. You need to put it maybe in a test on a Google form or you need to uh, put it into Google Classroom or you just want to show it on the screen. You want to extract it from that web page or PDF where it's located. So this is how you can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control plus on my screen to get it nice and big and that's just going to um, kind of make it gigantic on my screen so when I snag it, it's as big as it can be. And now I'm going to click on the snag it button in my extensions list and I'm going to choose to select a region so I'm going to click on the region and it says drag out an area to capture so I'm going to do just that I'm going to put my crosshairs in the top left I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag it until I have the part of the page that I want to save so now I've selected it and now I'm going to take a picture of it so here's my little camera I'm going to click to take a picture and now here's my image so I'm going to type a name for it up here so I'll call it example graph and it's saved now to my Google Drive so I'll go down to the well also notice that if you want to you can add things to this so you could add an arrow and then you could have a question for example you know about the the content that's highlighted by the red arrow for example um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is go down to my three buttons in the bottom right and I can either get a link to it or I can download it. So now let me download it and let me open it up on my computer and there it is my own little version of that example graph. Just for your information it's also saved over to your Google Drive. It's in a folder called TechSmith. You'll see over on the left hand side. And remember a minute ago how we hit Control plus plus plus. If you did that before and you want to make it smaller now, you can do Control minus 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 however many times you did that. Or you can go up into your bookmarks or your um, sorry your hot dogs in the top right, and you can go to Zoom right there and change it back to 100%. So either way. But now you'll see your image in in that drive and you'll see you saved it today. I saved mine at 1021 a.m. and I can actually open it up and look at it in Google Drive also. So Snagit can be used for a lot of different things. You can also do screencast with it but for today I thought we'd just focus on capturing an image of your screen. So hope you learned a lot from that and use that technique. If you do let me know, like the video and uh, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.